dear students welcome to all of you in this video lesson for students of b ed second year of maulana azad national urdu university hyderabad today we will have a discussion on objectives of teaching vocabulary types of vocabulary the topic is prescribed in the 7th unit teaching of vocabulary study and reference skills of the course pedagogy of english for both regular and distance mode students of b ed in this video lesson we will try to find out the answers of these questions what are the objectives of teaching vocabulary what are the types of vocabulary this video lesson will enable you to know the objectives of teaching vocabulary to understand types of vocabulary to apply the techniques of teaching vocabulary and to understand the selection and gradation of vocabulary students teaching of vocabulary grammar and composition are very fundamental things in english language teaching because without vocabulary grammar and composition we cannot teach english language in formal setting of education without sufficient vocabulary students cannot understand others or express their own ideas wilkins wrote that without grammar very little can be conveyed but without vocabulary nothing can be conveyed it's important to understand here that even without grammar we cannot manage to communicate with some useful words and expressions but without vocabulary it is very difficult to communicate verbally hence lewis says that vocabulary is the core or heart of language particularly as students develop greater fluency and expression in english it is significant for them to acquire more productive vocabulary knowledge and to develop their own personal vocabulary learning strategies students often instinctively recognize the importance of vocabulary to their language learning as smith mentioned that learners carry around dictionaries and not grammar books therefore teaching vocabulary helps students understand and communicate with others in english to speak in a clearer and more effective manner we need english vocabulary it is the active vocabulary of a person that decides how effectively he can speak in english language the vocabulary helps to select proper words phrases idioms and frame sentences so that other people can understand what you exactly want to express either in writing or in oral form vocabulary is the first and foremost important step in language acquisition in a classroom where students are not finding themselves comfortable with second language language learning can be made interactive and interesting with the introduction of appropriate vocabulary exercises john drinkwater a famous linguist says words are the bricks on which poetry and literature of the world has been built english language has a rich vocabulary of more than 5 lakh words it's a very flexible language which borrowed a number of words from other languages such as bazaar bangal cheeta chutney guru jungle khaki loot sari pathani etc we cannot enumerate thousands of english words that are basically from different languages 
This is the beauty of this language. It did not hesitate to adopt the words from other languages. The objectives of teaching vocabulary are to enable the students to understand spelling and pronunciation of English words, to acquire the students with meanings and usages of English words, to enable the students to understand different types of words such as contained words, structure words, homonyms, synonyms, antonyms and acronyms, to enable the students to know the meanings and usages of English phrases, idioms and proverbs, to enable the students to use appropriate words, phrases and idioms at appropriate place in written and oral communication, to develop dictionary skills of students, to develop the students reading comprehension, to enhance the students listening skill and lastly to develop the students speaking and writing skills. So, these are the objectives of teaching vocabulary. One should keep all these objectives in mind while teaching English vocabulary. <music> students vocabulary is classified in different ways. According to command over vocabulary, there are two types, active vocabulary and passive vocabulary. According to the use of vocabulary in different skills, there are four types, listening vocabulary, speaking vocabulary, reading vocabulary and writing vocabulary. Now, let us try to understand what is active vocabulary and what is passive vocabulary. Active vocabulary is the vocabulary over which a person has complete command and mastery and he uses it in his or her speech or writing. It is also called as working vocabulary and it varies from person to person. Active vocabulary is always smaller than our passive vocabulary. Active vocabulary comprises words that we use in our day-to-day -day oral and written communication. Passive vocabulary refers to the vocabulary over which a person has no command or he or she never uses it, but he or she can draw out meaning out of that, though partially or fully. Passive vocabulary is always larger than active vocabulary. We know a number of words, but we never use them in our speech. Such words comprises our passive vocabulary. So, active vocabulary comprises words that we use in our speech and writing and passive vocabulary comprises words that we do not use in our speech and writing, but we can make partial or full sense or meaning out of it. There are four basic language skills in any language that is listening skill, speaking skill, reading skill and writing skill. So, according to these skills there are four types of vocabulary, listening vocabulary, speaking vocabulary, reading vocabulary and writing vocabulary. Now, let us try to understand all these types of vocabulary. First, listening vocabulary. A person's listening vocabulary is all the words he or she can recognize while listening to speech. This vocabulary is aided in size by context and tone of voice. Then, speaking vocabulary. A person's speaking vocabulary is all the words he or she uses in speech. It is likely to be a subset of the listening vocabulary. 
then comes reading vocabulary. A literate person's reading vocabulary is all the words he or she can recognize while reading. This is generally the largest type of vocabulary. Simply because a reader tends to be exposed to more words by reading than by listening. Lastly, writing vocabulary. A person's writing vocabulary is all the words he or she uses in various forms of writings such as letters, applications, projects, essays, SMS, messages, Facebook or Twitter feeds, etc. So, listening vocabulary, speaking vocabulary, reading vocabulary and writing vocabulary, these are the four types of vocabulary according to the different skills of language. So, in this video lesson, we discuss the objectives of teaching vocabulary, the types of vocabulary. You can read more about the topic from the books and other resources you are watching on your screen. For more details, you can contact. That's all in this video lesson. Let's meet you next time with a new topic. Thank you very much.